Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Before we start, if you want to know what we're up to, do follow us on our Instagram account as well as our Facebook account. Today we'll be cooking homemade fishball noodles. So let's start cooking. First, we'll make the soup for this dish. We'll start off with blanching chicken feet, 2 kilograms, washed and cleaned. I'll just drop them in this pan of water. It don't have to be boiling. We just put them in, everything, and then we just wait for it to boil. After the water boils for 5 minutes, we'll take out the chicken feet, give them a good rinse, and put them in another pot of clean water for the soup. If you don't want to use chicken feet, you can either use pork bones or chicken bones, no problem. This soup is going to be so good because it will be full of gelatin and collagen and it's going to be so sweet. While this is boiling away, let's start to wash the ikan bilis or anchovies. Now we will wash the anchovies or we call it ikan bilis in Singapore. We have 200 grams of anchovies, dried anchovies over here. I'm going to rinse them off okay? because when they make it, it's actually spread out in the sun and dust and flies might be all over them so we need to wash them off before we cook them for making stock you do not have to get those big anchovies or boneless ones because we're not going to eat the anchovies we're just going to extract the flavor out for the soup move them around in the water like this i'm going to do this twice I'm just washing this twice instead of soaking them because for soup wise we don't have to soak them. We need the flavor to be within the ikan bilis or anchovies. So after washing, just put them on the strainer and strain out the excess water. After washing the ikan bilis, um, I'm having a look at the chicken feet now. I will need to move them around. Okay, I want all the blood and scum from the chicken feet to be out in the water. I need this water to be boiling. Once the water starts to boil, let it continue to boil for another 5 minutes before we take out the chicken feet. In the meanwhile, do preheat your oven if you are not pan frying the anchovies. I'm going to preheat my oven at 180 degrees Celsius. The chicken feet have been boiling for 5 minutes already. This is done now. I'm going to take this out from the water, rinse it and put it in another pot of water for the soup. Now that the oven is heated up, I'll put in the anchovies into the oven. at 180 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. At the 10 minutes mark, I will stir this around so that it will be evenly dried up. Next, I'll put the chicken feet into the boiling water. This is five liters of water. Just pour everything in, but be very careful. We'll let this boil while we wait for the anchovies to be ready. Um, the soup will take about two hours to extract all the goodness out from all these ingredients that we are putting in. Next, we'll debone the fish. We are going to debone this fish now. I'm using mackerel. This is about approximately 500 grams. I'm using two of them. I will let you know the exact weight of the flesh after I debone everything so that the measurement will be correct for you when you want to cook this dish at home. First, we'll cut off the head and the tail. Now, I don't like to throw them away because I can use this for the soup. I'm going to pan fry the head and the tail uh, before I put it and, and the bones, of course, before I put them in the soup. From where I am, fish ball are readily available but we like to make our own fish ball because then we can control the ingredients inside it wouldn't be too salty for us, neither way have MSG inside there but if you find this task too daunting, you can always get ready-made fish balls so let's start deboning them what I like to do normally is I like to place my knife right at the spine of the fish over here and do a slice down facing down approximately around 15 or 20 degrees and as you cut it out, you use two or three of your fingers, just push it up slowly, just using the edge of this knife. It has to be a sharp knife, please. Point the edge of the knife down and slowly just draw across the fish. You can feel the bones, it will be like tuk, 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 tuk. you can actually hear this sound, which means that you are doing it correctly.
Now, if you have a little bit of flesh left on the bones, don't worry, we we'll scrape it out with spoon later on. When you get to the end, just cut against the skin and just get all the flesh out. Now, if you ask me what other fish can you use for fish ball, or to, rather to make fish ball with, there's a lot of fish that you can use. You can, in Taiwan or in China, sometimes they use freshwater fish like carp also, but there's a lot of bones. Some of them use eel, some even use uh, shark flesh. Um, in Singapore, we use mackerel or we use yellow tail. Both can be done. Or if you're feeling generous, you can always use codfish. But that's a little bit oily, so it all depends on your preference actually. Okay, so this one of the flesh has been done. So once this is done, we'll continue with the rest of the fish. As you can see, there are some flesh left on the bones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape all this meat out. Nothing is going to waste. So just do this. Be careful of the bones. Okay, use your hand to feel it through. Okay, give me a scrap. You see all the meat are out. Okay, continue with the other side. Once you have done this, we will wash out the bones as well as the fish head and then we will pan fry them and put them into the soup. Now we are going to pan fry the fish head as well as the fish bone. In a heated pan, add in some oil. Swirl the oil around. Add all the fish head as well as the bones in. Fish head, skin down. We are just going to brown them. The reason why I am doing this is because I want the flavor to be more intense, the freshness of the fish, everything to be there. Cook them approximately around 2 minutes per side. Just brown them a little. I'll flip them around now. When this is done, we'll add this together with the anchovies that we have baked in a muslin bag and put them inside the soup stock. Don't worry if they break off now because we are putting them inside a muslin bag so it doesn't make too much of a difference. You just need to fry this for around 3 minutes or so just to brown them and then we just put them in a muslin bag together with the ikamilis. If you are thinking of skipping this step and throwing away the bones, I will, I will advise not to because this will add additional sweetness to your soup and it's really really nice. We will now remove the bones from the pan and we are going to add them together with the ikamilis inside a muslin bag. The reason why I'm using a muslin bag is because I don't want the bones to be all over in my soup, otherwise I will need to strain them, which is kind of troublesome. Okay. I'll put in the bones of the fishes first, and then I'll add in the anchovies. This soup is going to be so flavorful because we're all using natural ingredients without any MSG inside there. Okay, just pour everything in. So all you have to do now is just Tie this thing up. One, two knot. Just pass the string through the knot. Make sure that they don't fall out of this muslin bag. Secure them. And we'll drop this inside the soup. We just put this in and let them boil. A total of two hours will be very good. In the meanwhile, we will go and make our fish ball. Now we want to remove the flesh from the skin. This is what we want to achieve. I'm just going to show you how we can do this. Very simple, using a porcelain spoon. Just be careful of the bones in the center line itself. Use your hand to feel. If there's any bone, you just push it out or push it in, depending on which side of the fish you are getting the flesh out from. So I'll start from here. Just use a porcelain spoon and just scrape it out like this. Very simple. Right? All the flesh are here. You scrape the flesh towards the end of the tail. In this direction, it's much easier to get all the flesh out. Very simple. Right Over here, you can actually feel some bones. So what you do is, I just like to use my spoon and just press it down where the meat and the bones met and just push them out. Okay, and then I just scrape this part off. Very simple. Just do this and continue with the other side and I'll show you what kind of ingredients we need to put in to make the best fish balls. I'm going to turn the fish meat into a paste using my Magic Mix Mixer. 
I'm going to put the fish meat into the processor. I measured this is approximately 600 grams. So if you're just buying flesh alone without the whole fish, you can. It's easier for you to do the measurement. Add in two tablespoons of ice cold water. Now we're going to cover it up and give it a quick blend. Okay, we're going to add in the rest of the ingredients now. This 20 grams of wheat flour or wheat starch, two teaspoons of baking soda. This is actually to make it bouncy. The wheat starch is actually to bind everything together. One tablespoon of vegetable oil, pepper. This is up to your preference. One and a half teaspoon of salt. One and a half teaspoon of sugar. 65 ml of cold water. We give this a quick mix first. Okay. We are going to add in one egg white from an egg. Let's have a look. This is the texture that we want, a little bit bouncy, but we will still need to slam this a few more times to make sure that you really have really bouncy fish ball and really al dente on the when you bite into it. Okay, we'll just remove this now. Now I'm going to slam this fish paste about 20 to 30 times. Make sure you clean your hand and dip your hand in water because this is ultra sticky, it will stick onto your hand. So wet your hand. Okay, and then you scoop them up and slam them up. Pick them up, slam them. Now if your hand starts to stick like this, dip a little bit more water and slam them up again. This will actually make the fish ball very very bouncy, which is what we want. Get your husband to help you with it or your son. Do this for about 30 times before we actually ship them into balls. The paste is ready and I'm going to ship them into balls now. Make sure you clean your hand and wet your hand, otherwise it will stick way too much. Grab a handful of them. What you do is we just squeeze up like this and use a porcelain spoon or metal spoon, scoop it like this and put it into water like this. So just continue with the rest and finish them up. Very simple, just like this, and you're done. Now I'm going to marinate the minced meat. This is 300 grams. I'm using the pork belly. I've taken out the skin, or rather ask the butchers to take out the skin for me, and I'll have to ask them to mince for me. So, very simple. Pepper. One teaspoon of baking soda. You can use baking powder also, it's, it's the same. One teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoon of corn flour, 125 milliliter of water. Okay, just mix them up well. I'm not going to make them into meatball, I just want to separate them out. After you're done with this, all you have to do is put them in the fridge for half an hour to marinate, and we are good to go. I've already removed the chicken feet as well as the anchovies and the fish bones from this soup stock. As you can see, it's very creamy right now. But if you want your soup to be clearer, you can actually add a little bit more water to be clearer. But I prefer it this way because I like my soup to be full of goodness. Collagen is good for the skin, good for health, etc. So now all we've got to do right now is just to season this. I'm adding in two teaspoons of salt. As well as one teaspoon of sugar. The reason why I'm adding sugar in is to replace the MSG because we want a little bit of sweetness in the soup apart from the ingredient that we had already added inside here stir it up, just give it a taste mm. really good now I'm going to put the fish balls inside this pot of soup to cook them gentle boy put in the fish balls It's very easy. Once the fish balls were to float up, let them boil for another minute. 
a minute and a half and then you just take them out from the soup and we are done the fish balls are ready so we will just take them out from the soup so one final step before we dig in and that is to cook the noodles boil some soup I like to cook my noodles together with the soup because I like the flavor of the noodles to be infused into the soup too but if you don't you can cook them separately it's personal liking so it's really up to you get a separate bowl put in approximately 2 tablespoons of the minced meat that we have seasoned just now take one scoop of the soup pour it in and just chop it up like this because I don't want the minced meat to clump together hence I'm doing this okay when you're done with this just pour them back into the soup add in the yellow noodles as much as you like to eat this for me so the portion is pretty big I'm very hungry add in the fish balls and cook them for a couple of minutes this is going to be so good if you want a little bit more soup just add a little bit more soup wait for it to come to a boil and it's ready to be eaten it's all done and I can't wait to try this first we try the soup super flavorful I love this I can't understand why sometimes outside when you eat fish more noodles the soup is just like hot water so this is fantastic try the fish bowl now a little bit of soy sauce mm. super bouncy I'm definitely sure that you'll love this recipe pardon me while I'm taking first right so ladies and gentlemen this is how we cook our homemade fish bowl noodles so I hope you like our video, do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. And excuse me for eating now.